Alright everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be addressing a question that I've been getting more and more recently and that is, do you think your computer science degree was worth it? Now that I'm in the field, now that I have a job as a software engineer, looking back, knowing everything that I know, do I think my computer science degree was worth it? So I'm going to show you guys my transcripts right over here and um, if you want you can look through them. I was going to go through all the classes one by one but Honestly, that was kind of boring, and all the computer science degrees are very, very similar. We all take the same classes, maybe one or two differences that you'll see because of electives and like different requirements by state. So I want to preface this by saying this is not a one-size-fits-all answer, and you shouldn't take it as such. If you click on the next video right after this with the same title, you might hear a completely opposite answer. And that's the point that I kind of want to make in this video is that you can't take someone else's experience and try to copy paste that for yourself. This is a decision that you have to make for yourself based on who you are. And I'm going to talk about all of the reasons why for me getting my computer science degree was definitely worth it. I don't regret it at all. Just going back, I'm going to give y'all the truth. I'm going to give y'all some realness that you might not be hearing from these other YouTubers and these other you know, influencers. And a lot of them right now are saying, you don't need a degree. You know, Google, Apple just dropped their re degree requirements. All these companies don't require degrees anymore, and that's 100% true. That is 100% true. You don't need a degree. You don't need anything, right? You can do whatever you want. You can self-study for a year, for six months, for 10 years, and get the knowledge that you need to go to apply to these jobs. Now, do I think that's what you should do? I am a Latina. I am an immigrant. I'm a first-generation person, and as we know, sexism and racism are very real. It affects every aspect of your life and career is no different. And unfortunately in tech, like probably many other industries, women specifically and women of color are often targeted and almost harassed. Women of color are questioned. Their abilities are questioned. Their knowledge is questioned by everyone, by their bosses, by coworkers. And if you don't believe me, Go on Twitter and just look up these experiences. There's a hashtag right now called Apple2 where they talk about all of the misogyny and the racism and just the exploitation that has been happening to Apple employees and now they're trying to bring that to light. So for me, being a woman and being a Latina woman, it was very important for me to get my degree so that nobody could look at me and say, oh, we would love to, but you don't have a degree. Or, oh yeah, you sound like the right fit, but unfortunately you don't have your degree. Or, you know, to have people question my abilities and my knowledge solely because I didn't have a degree. That's something that I did not want to run into as an issue and I knew that it was a prevalent issue. So for me, I decided for myself, I would get my degree and it's why even right now, you know, I've been a software engineer for, I make my one year anniversary in like two weeks. It's the reason why I'm still finishing my degree even though I already have a job. So although I participated in my commencement for school in May. I actually still have two outstanding classes that I'm finishing this semester and I'll officially be awarded my degree in December. You're gonna see a lot of people who are kind of parading around this whole no degree thing and that's 100% fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all but I think you have to ask yourself if that makes sense for you. Right? Like if you're a white male that might be great for you. It's probably the best thing for you. Like why waste your money and time going to school? Or you know if you have parents who work in tech and you can get your foot in the door with the first interview at Google, 100% don't get that degree if you don't need to. But if you're a person like me who comes from my background, who doesn't have any family in tech, who doesn't really have any connections in tech, well now I do because I've been here for a while, but when I was first starting out I had no connections in tech, no friends who worked in tech who would just give me a referral. So for me, that was kind of my way in. It's like, you know what, I'm just going to get my degree and I'm going to compete with all of these students and that's why for me it was totally worth it. So. Knowing what I know now, if would I do my degree again? Absolutely. Absolutely I would do my degree again. Um, and honestly, I'm going to give you all this tea. If you're a woman or a Latino or a black student or an indigenous student or a disabled student, any of these categories where they try to other us, there's a lot of support for you to go get a computer science degree. I got my whole college paid for. My college was absolutely free. I got academic scholarships for my whole five years in college. And now that I am employed, my employer reimburses me for what I spend on school. So 
if you're worried about cost, there's so much support out there. I'll link some of those scholarships that I got in the description so you guys can check them out. So if that was helpful, if that brought you some insight, please do subscribe. I post new technical content every week and if you guys give me any suggestions, I'll be sure to try to make a video on that. Thanks a lot, dudes!